All right, so with the seasons actually starting to cool, um, it's definitely the right time to start pairing up the rattlesnake. What's up, on Spirit Reptile? Welcome this back to another fun-filled educational video. All right, so, run it. Really. All right, cool. The most sexiest king snakes, in my honest opinion, back here in the East. To the new additions, you know, we've got really parasite flush, and we've got really fresh stuff. We're talking about this. <laughs> there you go. Nice and female, also took, man. Now, isn't that freaking awesome? All right, so now that we're done peening, and breeding the species is 100% the easiest part. I'm going to Alright, so with the seasons actually starting to cool, um, it's definitely the right time to start pairing up the rattlesnake. So I was gonna start, was actually gonna sell these guys, but I decided against that at the end of the day, as um, no one was really willing to pay the price for them. Everyone wanted these animals incredibly cheap, and I don't think this is a species that should be cheap, just because of how absolutely gigantic they get, and of course with how toxic they are. So this is a big boy male over here. Just want to see where he's. He's usually very chilled. Um, definitely contrary to his usual disposition. Probably knows something's up because I'm going to take him out and actually clean his enclosure now. But just look at this absolute behemoth of a rattlesnake. <laughs> yeah, he weighs a lot. Definitely a big, big, big boy. I mean, look at this guy. That's not a big rattlesnake. Then I'm fairly sure I don't know what would be considered as a big rattlesnake. Now, like I said, in general, he's super chilled. Um, I've got no idea why he uh, is even rattling. So let's just get him into his little receptacle here so that I can quickly clean up his enclosure. And then put him to the female, which I'm going to be showing you guys in a second here. Yeah, he's mad, man. Come on, guy. I guess maybe it's because he smells food. I was feeding some of the other snakes that aren't going into hibernation soon. All right, guy. I really need you to cooperate with me here a bit. Fun and games with big snakes. Come on, dude. I really need you to cooperate with me. Now, I do really like rattlesnakes. Um, so, not really upset that he's not selling. Absolutely awesome species to be working with. So, while we've got him secured, let's grab out the female. Now, she's not nearly as big as what he is. Um, don't get me wrong, she's still a big snake. But, um, if you'd have to compare her to the male, she is a teeny tiny little worm in comparison. So let me get her out of here. Show you guys what she looks like. Now she actually in general is the one with an absolute horrible attitude. So, you know, always got to be cautious with her. Really cautious. And here she is. So still a decently sized specimen, but nowhere near as big as what that male is. All right, so now that we've got the enclosures nice and clean, let's get this female back in there so we can actually introduce this pair. Now it looks like this female is already kind of starting to open it, but she is big. And I do mean quite big down there by the belly side. Now it might just also be that um, I was feeding her a little too good because I obviously was prepping them for this breeding season, but just to make sure, let me try and palpate her a little bit. Yeah, she gave me no chance for that, but I don't think she is already grabbed, although I did pair them up already. 
uh, last year's spring. So, you know, in general, in general, they don't really breed in springtime, but sometimes they can, or sometimes they'll take in spring, and when the next autumn comes, they'll fertilize themselves. So, that's interesting. All right, let's get this big boy out of here. He's definitely not his usual self. I mean, I don't condone free handling, neither do I do it at all, but he would be one of those rattlesnakes that you would be able to do this with in general. But his disposition as of the moment is just absolutely weird. All right, I've got it. All right, big boy. Wait, wait, wait. Calm down. I'm gonna try and take you to your girlfriend, bro. Such a behemoth. He's a big boy. Big, big boy. Look at that. He's a big boy. Let me actually bring you guys closer for this. All right, so here's the male. Beautiful rattle over here. <laughs> now he's not quite happy with me at the moment. Now I don't have the appropriate camera equipment on me, so I'm gonna camera in my hand. Here's the female, just as a good size comparison for you as to what the male looks like. So very interesting. Um, in general, rattlesnakes kind of break the rules for normal viper day, whereas the females get bigger than the males. But rattlesnakes, males, are a lot, lot bigger than the females. Look at him figuring out all the scents around him, picking up with his tongue, flicking it back to the Jacobson's organ. It's this beautiful female. She's just so set with me at the moment. Very cool rattle, huh? Love how that looks. So while all of those guys are busy, let me show you some of the new additions that we'll be working with. So we got this beautiful Honorensis female. She looks absolutely amazing. I love Lumprofeltus. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that, but I love Lumprofeltus. The genus is incredibly fun to be working with. And then we've actually got a new project. That's right. You've got Publeni. Now, oh, your enclosure is messy, bud. At least today is cleaning day. We've got Publeni little snakes. So here's our beautiful male. And then we actually have two girlfriends for him. Uh, they're not ready at the moment, but they will be in a year or two's time. Ah, milk snakes are so squirmish. Here she is, the one female. They're not as pretty as what that male is, but still very happy to have females because it seems like they're very scarce at the moment. Here's another female. Come on, stop spazzing, stop spazzing. Here's another female. She's a lot prettier than the other one. Ah, pooped all over me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go back, go back, go back. Man, milk snakes. All right, guys. So remember when I told you he's such a prolific breeder? Um, that's it. We're going to have the Reese's babies again. And look at that absolute stutter rider. Thanks, my dude. The only thing with him is I need to really watch him. So I might actually remove him later this eve. Got to go feed a bunch of Pseudocerastes babies. But um, later this eve, I'll have to take him out because he never stops. And he actually has killed a previous female. So... Definitely don't want any of those shenanigans again. So it's been a couple hours and we're still good here. Male there at the back and the female chilling over here. This is a really good thing. I'm really, really, really happy about this result. And here we go. The first visual successful lock. We can see hemipenes inside of her there. So that's absolutely amazing news. Good job, dude. Don't over-exasperate yourself, please. Hey, 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 hey.